To everyone watching at home, to everyone here in attendance, it is now time for the final stretch in this year's GCW WrestleMania. Starting with the most prestigious title in all of professional wrestling today, the GCW World Championship. Big Fight Field is nowhere near enough to describe the energy of this arena as of right now. And speaking of energy, Will Ospreay, the challenger, has been a master of that Black Air Force energy as of late. Today might be the day that Will Ospreay finally achieves his dream, achieves his goal, achieves his birthright in the form of the GCW World title. Honestly, I can kind of understand where the crowd is coming from. They're booing the hell out of Will Ospreay, letting him know that he sucks. But honestly, in my opinion, Will Ospreay has more than enough earned his shot at the GCW World title. He's done everything in his power to get to this point. And he won the Royal Rumble fair and square, even after getting spiked on his head by Brock Lesnar on the apron, people. He definitely does deserve it, but he hasn't been acting nice in the lead-up to this match. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I know he was a bit of a dick at that press conference. He said everything, did everything he could in his power to get in the head of Kota Ibushi. And guess what? It worked, and it may work a little too well, because now we may be seeing the end of GCW's golden era. This could be the final night of Kota Ibushi's world title reign. Yeah, ever since he has won the championship from AJ, Kota Ibushi has been on a great reign pretty much ever since stepping foot into the company. Ever since Kota Ibushi has debuted, he skyrocketed to the top and Will Ospreay just couldn't stand that fact. He's been bitter ever since Kota Ibushi hit that Kamagoye off the top of that ladder and allowed Kota Ibushi to grab that briefcase. Will Ospreay said that it was a cheap shot, said that it was an easy way out for Kota Ibushi, and now Ibushi's on a mission to prove Ospreay wrong. As you can see, he's just getting in the face of Ospreay as tensions are running high and the match hasn't even started. Bell rings, and the championship is on the line. Whoa. What a kick there from Will Ospreay. Didn't quite make the mark, but oh, oh. that big boot did right to the face of Kota Ibushi. And Ospreay having some choice words. But oh, he gets answered right back with that palm strike to the jaw of Will Ospreay. The challenger is down, and he might just be out. Kota Ibushi could pin him right now, and he might win. Yeah, that was a very, very nice slap as he follows up with the forearm now. Osprey into the corner and Ibushi goes for the German suplex. The German suplexes from Kota Ibushi are some of the most vicious in all of professional wrestling. As you can see, Osprey getting dunked on his neck there. And he's definitely going to be feeling that long after this night is over. Definitely. Oh! And another kick to add insult to injury to the challenger. And Kota Ibushi, he has a bone to pick with Will Ospreay, all right. He's just trying to punish him. Oh, my God, what a counter from Will Ospreay. Spike Kota Ibushi on his head. Oh, and what a kick to the back of the head. This is what Ospreay is so good at, changing the momentum of the match in a matter of seconds. And now he is in control of Ibushi. Oh, God. Oh. Even after everything we've seen just far, this is still the feeling out process. Ibushi is on the outside, and as we know, nobody is safe! Oh, Sasuke special attempt there from Will Ospreay, but it didn't quite My end! God. But that death clothesline sure as hell did! Yeah, that was vicious. All the strength Ibushi put into that one, insane. What the hell is he thinking now? Oh my no. God, channeling 
some of the energy from his best friend. Years ago, Kenny Omega did something similar with the super moonsault from the top of that scaffolding. And he lands on his Does feet. Does Kota Ibushi have no regard for his personal well-being? Oh! Oh. Oh. And Osprey kicks out, just barely able to. He's already taken so much damage, and we barely just got started. And now Kota Ibushi. Running the ropes there. Wait a minute. Osprey moonsault off the chest of Kota Ibushi and oh. hits that into Guri. Right to the back of the head of Kota Ibushi. The champion is stunned. And Osprey hits that super kick. But look at Ibushi. He's still on his feet. Oh, and what a roundhouse kick. Kota Ibushi might just be out cold there. You have fight jump. That's Osprey letting everybody know that he's just a fake champ as he said at that press conference and he's looking to prove himself right here what on earth could he possibly no. be thinking no. oh, oh my god he just killed him with that stomp at this point can you blame will osprey for thinking that He's definitely doing very well in this match as he now goes up to the top rope. Now what's Osprey thinking? From the top oh, oh. Another double foot stop right to the mouth of Kota Ibushi. Is this it? No! The champion is still in the match. And the championship remains around his waist just for now. And look at this. Osprey talking that mad trash to everybody here, including Kota Ibushi. He's looking to prove not only Kota Ibushi that he is worthy of being the world champion, of carrying this company. He's proving ah. to the people at the back, the suits, the higher ups oh, of this company. Oh my oh. God! What a Pele kick! Just look how Osprey went flying. Ibushi having a second win as he hits that vicious kick. Oh, oh. double knee boots onto the sternum of the challenger and Osprey might just be eating his words now off the ropes oh what a knee to the side of the ear and now Ibushi thinking it might be over no still not enough to take down Will Osprey Will Osprey has had a storied career here in GCW had one of the longest reigns I've ever seen when he held that GCW Cruiserweight Championship but ever since he lost it to Jushin Liger, he's been doing better things on his mind. But now, Ibushi tries to go for that Kamagoye. Wait a minute, reversal by Osprey into that reverse Rana. Spikes Kota Ibushi on the top of his head. And now, Osprey has an opening here for the Os Osprey. Oh my no. god! No, oh Poison god. Rana attempted counter, but Osprey had it scouted this he time. Os Cutter, new champion. Again, able to power out. I thought that was it. But Osprey is now signaling that he will go for Hidden Blade to finish up the Golden Star. Hidden Blade, but now Ibushi out of the way. Oh, what a knee from Kota Ibushi there. Just able to avoid oh. that Hidden Blade super kick from Osprey. Both of these men not going to back down. Close like way. Transitions into a power oh. bomb. <laughs> My goodness. What a power bump! What a counter by Osprey! This crowd is just eating everything up that they're seeing in this blockbuster title match. Both of these men have been through everything thus far. What else could they possibly do to the other? Trying to go for oh. Osprey, but oh my god! No. Osprey just fell to his demise after getting cut down by that kick from Kota Ibushi! Did you see the way he landed oh, yeah. onto the floor? And I think the back of his head hit our announce table on the way down. Osprey might be out of this match. Ref's now checking on him. Officials checking on the challenger, rightfully so. And Kota Ibushi's in the middle of the ring. I don't know what's going on in his mind. I can never know, but I think he just told the refs to, to clear the way. And oh, now no. Ibushi going for that Golden Star trigger. What? What? Oh, my God. What was that? Oscar. Oscar. The counter to rule them all. Osprey. Countered with that Oscar against the Golden Star triangle moonsault. I was here in person. And I can't believe what I 
just saw! Me neither, but now both men are down. Osprey took impact again on the back, landing from that os cutter, but it wasn't a very important counter. And now Osprey trying to drag the lifeless carcass of Ibushi back in the ring. If he gets the cover, this could be it! Yeah, I definitely think so. I've never seen an os cutter just like that, but Osprey still has trouble as well. Now Osprey still feeling the effects of that bump he took. The sacrifices he's made to get this far will pale in comparison to the reward he will claim if he lands this hidden blade. Yeah. Osprey going for the hidden blade. Oh, oh no! Oh no! The after effects of that bump to the outside are getting the better of the challenger. And now Ibushi oh, making things worse with that German suplex. I don't know if he got all of it, but he got just enough. With the amount of injuries Osprey has sustained thus far, that small German suplex might as well be one taken from Brock Lesnar. Yeah, but now look, and look. Now speaking of German suplexes, Ubushi's going for his signature one. No! Oh! oh my god, once again, Osprey landing on his feet, but he can't capitalize. Oh wait, yes he can. What? Wait, what? Oh, Kamakoye! Oh. Kamakoye! Oh. Another oh. one! Another one to the jaw! That's Osprey it! That's it! Down. Osprey is down! No! Are you kidding me? What is happening in this title match? That was so quick by Ibushi. What a counter. Two Kamagoyes and Osprey able to kick out. I am absolutely speechless. And now Another Ibushi one. going to get that final blow. The third Kamagoye to end it all. Wait, Monkey what? flips into oh. the ref. The ref is down. Big Head Earl continuing the tradition of getting his ass handed to him in every pay-per-view. But now it's at the most crucial point in this match. What? Huh? Who's that? Wait, what? Who the? Wait, is that? Is that Walter? It looks like him. Oh, oh my God! God. Huge power bomb into the announce table. We haven't seen Walter since last year's WrestleMania. When he got his arm broken in the main event, and and now he's showing up here. What the hell is his problem? What's his beef with Kona? Hit him oh my the God! Back. Osprey taking advantage as Big Head Earl is still trying to come too. No. Is Walter? Helping Osprey at another hidden blade to the face. Wait, no. no, 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 no! Please don't tell me it's gonna end this way. Big Head Earl getting ready to count the pin. One, two. Osprey has done it. What a shocking turn of events. My God! I cannot believe what I've just seen here. Walter has made his long-awaited return to GCW, and it was to help out Will Osprey, as they're both wearing the the same logo on their arms. Do you remember Osprey saying he was going to make sure that he doesn't get screwed out of yet another match, and I think he did that. You might be right about that. Osprey made a promise to Ibushi and to everyone watching that he was going to walk out of WrestleMania as the champion, and thanks to Walter, he does just that. One can only wonder what could be next for Will Osprey, the GCW title, Walter, and GCW as a whole. Yeah, I feel like we have a lot of uh, questions to answer on the GCW Life After Mania coming up. But man, insane turn of events here tonight. We have now reached a new era. The era of the Commonwealth Kingdom.
You guys gotta check out WrestleListic. You can get custom stages printouts. You can get a custom arena printout. You can get custom backstage printouts. Pretty much whatever you need for your fed, you can get at WrestleListic.com. And you can also message him for personalized stuff for your personal fed. Like I'm doing right now, we're working on some cool stuff that will be uh, revealed in upcoming videos. So definitely make sure to check out WrestleListic.com. What a night it's been, and it's about to be capped off. And oh, look at this! Up in the skybox, the man who gifted me this trippy ass suit is being uh, counseled by MJF and Austin Theory. I wonder what that's about. But now there's no wondering what this is about. This is the main event to end them all. Kenny Omega's career is on the line in one of the deadliest matches to ever be conceived by man. Kenny Omega has been obsessed with the fact that he has never pinned Brock Lesnar in a GCW arena. And now it might cost him his very livelihood tonight. Yeah, you have seen the attack from Lesnar already after Omega's actions at the Raw Rumble. And I'm sure tonight will be no different from the beast. With that sound, Armageddon has arrived. And it might very well be Armageddon for the legacy of the cleaner here in GCW. A storied career that has started years and years ago. And the only word to describe that career is Godhood. Kenny Omega is the arguable face of GCW, and now he's at his lowest point. But you know what they say once you hit rock bottom, there's only one way to go, and that's up. But how high can you go when the beast is looming above? sadistic structure shortens careers changes lives induces nightmares into every individual that's ever found himself unlucky enough to be placed inside of it hell in a cell the main event starts now and kenny omega coming in guns blazing against Brock oh. Lesnar. right into the f5 able to escape and now Kenny, could he be picking one winged angel already? Oh, oh my god, but Brock Lesnar just kicks him away like a mule. Oh, what a knee to the gut of Kenny Omega. And Brock Lesnar's not holding anything back here. He cannot be able to afford to hold back against Kenny Omega. Brock Lesnar knows better than anybody what Kenny Omega is capable of. There's a reason why he was once the longest reigning GCW champion in history. Yeah, but he just keeps getting dropped right on his head here. As Brock Lesnar is just reveling in his own hype here as he tries to start a suplex city champ. Oh. And there's Kenny Omega who answers with his own oh. Dragon Suplex City, Brock. And now Paul Heyman now looking Kenny. like he's just seen the end of the world. And honestly, this might just be the end of the world here for Brock Lesnar, but Brock is not gonna go down without swinging. As he belly to belly suplexes Kenny Omega back inside the ring, and now Brock is like a sadistic predator when it comes to Kenny, oh my God. Paul Heyman telling Kenny to give up. Oh my God, Kenny using the oh. trade to his advantage as he hits that moonsault off the top of Brock Lesnar's head. He was able to scare the hell out of Paul Heyman in the process. Brock Lesnar sure as hell wasn't expecting this kind of offensive from Kenny Omega, but the cleaner has way too many tricks up his sleeve. Oh, huh? the knee crashes against Caught. the cage, and Brock forces oh my God. the neck of Kenny Omega to crash against the floor with that vicious German. And Kenny just keeps landing on the back of his head and now he just did it again on the floor. And now Lesnar might be picking up the scraps. And now and Brock slowly stalking 
his prey here as he tries to go for an F5 already. If he hits this, it might just be Dunyan Riggs. Oh, what a oh. DDT counter by Kenny Omega. That's why he is the god of GCW. It's a very nice counter by Kenny as he now tries to get the beast up. And now, after spiking Brock on his head, looking for a power bump to the outside against that cage. Oh, what a clothesline there from Brock. Didn't quite get Kenny off his feet, but now off the ropes there. Oh, oh. that clothesline sure as hell rocked Kenny. And now Brock has him oh. up in a power bump position. He's not thinking of just chucking him over against that table. But what a chop there! But Brock Lesnar answers with that stiff knee. Oh, sends Brock flying to the floor. Able to think three steps ahead there as he avoided that German suplex. And now Kenny. What's he thinking of doing here? I don't think he has enough room to hit some kind of outside maneuver here. Topek on Hilo attempt here. He's going for it, but wait, oh. Brock Lesnar able to counter. Power bump into the post. Able to use the leverage of the cell to the catch Omega. The strength of Brock Lesnar just could not allow Kenny Omega to land that Topek on Hilo. Now Brock once again attempting the F5. Oh my God, just got dunked on his head with that crucifix bomb. Feet trigger to the jaw. And now Kenny looking to hit the one-winged angel. Can he get it there? Wait, no. Quartz wrapped oh. instead into the turnbuckle. The back of Brock's neck crashed against that padding. It may be padding, but there's no padding when it comes to velocity and gravity, people. That's science for you, bitch. Oh. Now Kenny is pummeling Brock, but Brock's not gonna let it happen. Oh wait, watch out! Oh, oh the elbows! The elbows that ended the reign of Kenny Omega all those years ago! And now Brock finds himself in the cross arm breaker. Kenny Omega is barely to counter, but Brock had an answer as he drives him down. But I think the damage has already been done to Brock's arm there, but the beast does not give a you-know-what. German suplex again. Wait a minute, sunset flip there by Kenny Omega. And now Kenny has Brock poised for the J-Driller here. Wait, oh, so oh. To what happened oh, to counter. Rumble, but Kenny Omega did his homework. Oh. Oh. Brock Lesnar just barely able to get out at the count of two. Oh! Once again, dunks Brock on his head. Kenny Omega is not gonna fall for the same tricks twice, Brock. And now, Jay Thriller connects! My goodness! The aggressive nature of Kenny Omega in this match knows no bounds, but that's what you have to do when you're stuck in hell with the Beast! And now Kenny going for a beat trigger. Oh wait, Brock able to avoid it. And now Brock has a moment to recuperate. Paul Heyman twiddling his thumbs with how nervous he is. And now Kenny's in trouble. Brock going for that fly. Oh, oh my oh. God! Crashes against the cage and on the way down, crashes through the table. That's what you call a double whammy. Paul Heyman pleading with Kenny Omega to take it easy, but Brock Lesnar still not out. Oh my oh. God. Kenny Omega put everything he had in that beat trigger. Oh, he goes for another one. Gets caught in the F5 here. Brock Lesnar, wait. Lance on his feet. V trigger to the face. V trigger to the face. And now Kenny got to go for the cover. He got to go for the cover. Kenny Omega still not the winner of this Hell in a Cell matchup. Paul Heyman looking to God above, asking him what Brock Lesnar has to do to end the legacy of Kenny Omega. But now Kenny Omega wondering the same question himself, but vice versa. Now, what's he looking at? Oh my God. Hoisting the body of Brock Lesnar up the top of that turnbuckle. And now Paul just absolutely losing his mind here as Kenny's gonna look to hit the Dragon Suplex from the top rope. 
this is revenge for what happened at WrestleMania. The oh. Warriors are coming oh. up Brock, able to escape the balls of Kenny Omega, crashing against the rope. And now what the hell is Brock thinking of doing? Wheelbarrow position here. And now Brock, Brock, oh wow. my god, oh my god. Oh. oh no. The back of Kenny Omega's head just splat against the steel panel, holding the cell together. That must be the hardest part of this structure. Definitely is, and Kenny, oh my god. And now as you can see, the blood oozing from the back of the head of Kenny Omega is prominent here in this matchup. Brock Lesnar's like a shark, and when a shark smells blood, they go for the kill. And now Brock is reveling, showing everything. Oh, oh wait, what's Kenny Omega doing? Oh my oh god! My god. The wing dragon suplex onto the apron, onto the beast! That was just pure desperation. And just like that, Kenny Omega might have just evened out the playing field. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, suplex for a suplex. Paul Heyman cannot believe what has just happened. And I don't know if Kenny Omega is still conscious. I think he did that out of pure instinct. He had to think of something to do or else this match and his career respectively would be over. Exactly. And even after taking that, Brock Lesnar is still better off than Kenny. And now what's the beast thinking of- No! Oh! Oh, blow! When in doubt, punch their balls out. And now Brock Lesnar is no more than a mortal man here in this moment. As Kenny Omega hoists Brock up, is he going to hit? A one-winged angel to the outside, onto the floor. If that would be insane, bro. Oh. Brock able to escape, and Kenny Omega is running on fumes. He can't even capitalize. But now Brock standing on the middle rope. He has Kenny Omega in his clutches. What's he thinking of doing here? Oh my God, Shane! Oh, friend, with that German suplex off the outside. Just look at the way Kenny landed, my god! Brock Lesnar taking a page out of Kota Ibushi's book, and now Kenny Omega is helpless against the ropes! But now what's this? What the hell is Brock doing? Oh, oh my god! Kenny Omega having a taste of his own medicine there! Brock Lesnar hitting his own variation of the V-Trigger! And now, could this oh. be... A one-winged F5 oh. lands right on his head. No way. No way. It's over. Kenny Omega's career has just been conquered. I don't know what to say. I I don't know what to say. This match was just as advertised. It was brutal. It was hellish. But at the end of the day, I would have never thought in a million years Kenny Omega would fall the final time to Brock Lesnar as he puts his boot onto Kenny Omega. The Conqueror has conquered God.